What's up, 369 family? Hope you're doing amazing. I wanted to come on and give you a quick update of what I'm seeing in the investment world and how that's going to impact our strategy and our potential returns moving forward. The first I like to talk about is inflation. Pesky inflation. It's always there. Prices are always going up over time. Inflation is under wraps, so prices are not increasing as much as we've seen over the last couple of years, and that's a major positive. Contrary to that, interest rates look like they're going to remain higher for longer. And that's actually a positive because earnings for companies have been doing phenomenal. So the reason the Federal Reserve would want to lower interest rates is due to the fact that our economy could be slowing. So if the economy continues to do well, the Federal Reserve might you know, lower rates a little or could raise them or just keep them where they are. Ultimately, though, what we're seeing is with this new AI boom, we are seeing more productivity in the markets, meaning if I'm working and now I can use AI, I can get more work done in the same amount of time for the same amount of cost. So that means workers are being more productive and that is translating to higher profits for companies. And I don't know if we're going to enter into a bull market or if we're going to have a pullback, no one knows what's going to happen there. But it seems like things are progressing nicely in terms of where the economy is going and with how things are progressing with earnings of companies. We recently saw a pullback of Salesforce, which is one of our positions in our company here at 369 Financial. I'm not concerned about that. For the clients that have been with us for a while, we purchased that around $170. So we're still more than a 20% gain in that position. We actually increased the position a little bit today to take advantage of that downturn because their earnings were actually pretty good. They only missed by a slight margin. However, the stock is not the company and the company is not the stock. And sometimes Mr. Market just decides to push the red button, causing a really good company to go down in value which I actually get excited about because that means we can buy more of a good company at a discounted price. So we can take advantage of that. And we decided to do that earlier today. And uh, today's May 31st, 2024, depending on when you may see this. In addition to that, we have added Berkshire Hathaway to our portfolio after carefully considering and reviewing how their going to be positioned after the loss of Charlie Munger, who is Warren Buffett's right-hand man for, I think, like 60 years or more. And with Mr. Buffett being in his 90s, a lot of people may question, how is Berkshire going to continue to do? Well, the way they are set up, pretty much anyone could run that company. And for the clients that have been with us for since the beginning, when we were managing money during the COVID-19 pandemic, we actually did buy an oil company called Occidental Petroleum, which Mr. Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway have taken about a $15 billion stake in. After careful analysis, uh, we decided that owning Berkshire Hathaway is a better option than owning Occidental Petroleum by itself because based on the fundamentals and how Berkshire Hathaway's company is set up, we believe that Occidental Petroleum and their profits and the dividends that they're paying out to Berkshire Hathaway are worth more inside that position. So that's why we decided to add Berkshire Hathaway to our overall portfolio. And it's one of our top positions at this point in time. Also with AI and autonomous driving, you may or may not know this, but your friendly Geico, Gecko, is owned by Berkshire Hathaway. So what we are predicting is since cars are going to be safer and are going to have automated driving features, that is going to result in less accidents. If there's less car accidents, that's going to mean less claims. If there's less claims, that means GEICO is going to retain more money. And with inflation, GEICO and all insurance carriers, I'm sure if you have home insurance, auto insurance, any sort of insurance, you've seen an increase in price. So with the purchasing power that they have and with the advances in technology that we're seeing, that's only going to help Berkshire Hathaway being that's one of their best positions inside that organization, which is a private company. 
So many of the companies Berkshire have inside their portfolio are private, meaning their price of their investments aren't dictated by all the emotion and ups and downs of the markets. Other than that, I'm very excited about the future. We have seen the markets go up a, quite a bit so far in 2024, and that's primarily due to the chip maker NVIDIA going up substantially since that's one of the largest holdings inside the stock market. And we've seen the Dow Industrial Index, which is another market indicator, not perform as well as like the NASDAQ or the S&P. And that's okay because we're not competing with the market. As we saw in 2023, our portfolios did better than all of the indexes overall from a risk reward standpoint in terms of how we've done from an investment piece. And you've seen that with Google and Microsoft ride the wave with this AI boom. So what we've done with the portfolio for your accounts is everything is balanced. And by adding Berkshire Hathaway to the mix, we are going to see, in my opinion, over the next five to 10 years, steady returns. And our accounts have done very well that the positions that we have, we bought at such attractive prices, even if there is a pullback in the market, such as Salesforce going down, we bought it at such a good price that it's not going to matter. So if you do need money, if you are retired, make sure you have enough cash on hand or you reach out to me that we have a withdrawal strategy if we don't have one in place already. If you're in your accumulation phase in terms of your investment journey, things are getting exciting and there are definitely opportunities to still buy investments that are at good prices despite the markets reaching all-time highs. I truly appreciate everyone's support. If you need anything, I'm always available to reach out to me and I hope you have an amazing weekend and I will send another video in about two or three months. So have a great day. Bye everyone.